What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing you another video. Today I wanted to do a video on Pokémon Tournament. Uh, for those who don't know, Pokémon Tournament just recently came out about a week or so ago. Um, very popular game already, and the reason why I went down is because I dropped something that I wanted to just, you know, mention and show off a little bit, um, which, it, which I'll, I'll mention in a little bit. And that, and but now uh, I want to talk about the game. Personally, I'm loving the game a lot. I've played a bunch of it. Really great game. Really, really cool. Um, though it's not the hugest amount of Pokemon, there's definitely a lot of stuff going on, and you definitely get a, a, a huge sense of this game is doing well. And you know, there's a big, there's been a big audience. There's been some earlier stuff going on. Now people have, have suggested all sorts of things in regard to is this, could this become a franchise? Could they continue to make more of these? Personally, I would like to think so. Don't know yet. I've heard mixed opinions in that regard. I think the game's really, really excellent. I think it's fun, and I think it's something that Nintendo needed to 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 have. You know, have their own you know fighting game that isn't necessarily just Smash. Smash is great, but it's not like a regular you know fighting game that you know games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Tekken are like and this kind you know this is supposed to be their own kind of version of Tekken but at the same time it it's different it's very different it has its own feel and personally I like that you know it's it, it, it creates something to be interested in another thing to mention which is great is that there is a story you know I wasn't I, I one of the things that I was hoping for which I'm glad that they do have there is a story now obviously the story is not everywhere and it's not constant and the story mode itself you know it's it's really just you play a whole bunch of battles and then you get story and the thing is, is that that's fine and obviously it would be nice though on the other hand if there were things going on that led you up to a story rather than you, you just doing battle after battle over and over again but at the same time for what it's worth i think it's decent but yes it definitely could be approved improved upon in the future if they choose to create a sequel because personally, doing rinse and repeat battle after battle after battle just to get to the next tournament rank over and over again, though that's great and then you get obviously cutscenes and all that, that's nice. But the thing is, is that there's nothing, like, it's just like, oh, you've gotten to this point and now you get a cutscene. But, you know, you're, it doesn't feel like they're connected. It feels like it could be any battle that you could be fighting, which, you know, it creates that kind of sense that it's not it's a story like there's a story going on but it's kind of like its own thing while the gameplay is separate and it doesn't connect as much now obviously battles with the main protect with the main uh like pokemon protagonist which i will show you guys now because i because because i actually bought the game early enough to the point that they actually that it came with it and the, um still i think it, it it should come with it um and that is the game came with a amiibo card, yes, an amiibo card for a Pokemon tournament, which is for Shadow Mewtwo, which is very cool, and I really like Shadow Mewtwo, and, you know, he is the main protagonist Pokemon in the game. Uh, not protagonist Pokemon, what, what am I saying? Not protagonist, antagonist, wrong thing, um, antagonist Pokemon in the game. Now, the thing is, is that obviously in the game, you know, he starts off evil, but, you know, he's supposed to be good. Now... Um, there's a whole story based around that, and, and I don't want to go into things too much if you if you haven't played it because it's worth playing and actually um, you know getting to know the story because it is interesting, um, and you know it's done really well and that there's some really interesting characters. His battles are extremely tough, I will say that though, um, and there's a good amount of customization which is great in the game. Uh, but continuing back with what, I, what my point was, you know. It's good when you have these battles that connect to the story with him, and just in general with Pokemon as a whole, and that's great. But the thing is, is that they come at odd times, and ha and had the whole game, you know, continued to be something that has a story element to it. You know, each like it doesn't necessarily have to be every single trainer has a, 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 like every single person that that uses it. Ha ha um, as an element of the story, but at the same time, it doesn't hurt either to create that aspect. You know, there's no there's no real hub world or anything like that, and there's really no like you know you don't have a, a, a person in the game. And a lot of people were hoping originally that this game would possibly back when they when the earliest clips were shown off showing you know Mega Mewtwo and and Mega Lucario, or not Mega Mewtwo, Mega 
Blaze of Cannon and Mega Lucario, you know, fighting each other in a in a street scene, people were thinking, oh, this might be the next, you know, uh, Gales of Darkness and, or uh, Coliseum game. And the thing is, is that it doesn't have that like real person persona. So it's like these sudden cutscenes happen that look like a storybook cutscenes that you know you see in a lot of a lot of anime based games, and that's cool. But at the same time, I feel like that's one of the areas where they struggle with. It, it, is that it seems kind of abrupt and kind of out of nowhere. So, personally, though I'm not against the game, I think that that's one of the main areas where they need to work on if they if they choose to make a sequel to this game. Because I liked it a lot, it's, and I still like it, and I'm still playing it. I haven't actually finished the game entirely in regard to story mode, because I've actually, I'm on, like, I'm up to the, the greatest, uh, like, ranking. But the thing is, is that, um, I still have to go through the league it's uh, through that through um that league which is the chroma league but the thing is is that i'm like halfway through it and once you get mewtwo it becomes very easy so i just need to just use him to death and also this card allows you to get shadow mewtwo now i'm not sure now personally i have not put it in and i also haven't really been looking at many people's you know gameplay of it other than a handful of people and I really don't know for a fact if it's just a, you know, an alternative look or if it's something that, you know, it, it's its own Pokemon or not in the game. I don't know for a fact if, how, the, how they made it work. And ho hopefully we get a lot more Pokemon. I'm hoping that we get a lot of DLC. You know, I made a top five a while ago related to Pokemon Tournament in regard to Pokemon that I really wanted to get, to, to get in and also just in general discussions about the game. And, you know... I still stand by a lot of those that I still want to have some, them have some involvement. And, you know, the the way that they've incorporated Pokemon, even ones that, like, necessar that don't necessarily, you know, attack physically, they've still managed to create a w way for them to attack physically even if they don't. And, that is, and it's something that's kind of interesting. And, you know, a lot of these things may seem like they wouldn't make sense, but in reality, they actually do it really well. This game in general has been really just, it's a different kind of game, and it's a fun game, but its it, it, it definitely has areas where it could do better, in, especially in regard to story aspect. Again, as I said before, that's really where I think that's one of the biggest weaknesses is the fact that the, the way that they bring up a story, there's logic to where they bring it up, but it doesn't seem like it like it could be like necessarily that would cause like it would make sense to cause it but you know it's battle after battle and then suddenly because you've you've reached a rank or because of a certain mission now you're getting a cutscene or whatever and that's cool but it could be done a lot better i'm just saying so uh, please understand this that is my opinion obviously for those who have played it and Maybe our uh, maybe it might be thinking otherwise. Might be saying no, it's fine. I don't care. Or oh, I've just been playing online. I would say play the story mode. You know, play it. Obviously, it's long because of all those battles and the repetitive. But at the same time, it's worth playing. It's also a good way for you to like test out all the Pokemon over time. I haven't even tested out all them myself, and you know, level them up and all that, which is cool. And yes, there is a level up system. I don't know if if that interacts with the local uh, online play because uh, I haven't really done online battling yet but I have I've been focusing mainly on the story right now just because I've been wanting to do that and also customization and other things like that which there's a lot of customization a lot of different elements of different things and you know it's pretty worthwhile so if you haven't played it or if you're curious about playing it I highly recommend it but you know be aware of anything that I have said before it's a great game but there are things that definitely could be worked on more and I hope that they do uh, release more Pokemon either in the form of DLC either in the form of oh if you have a card like this then you can get a Pokemon or you know just in general update the game all of which are viable options and hopefully something will happen soon do I know when no clue but we'll have to wait and see because uh, hopefully something will, will happen. I mean, th this this game is going to be at Evo, apparently, which is very cool. You know, it's a big uh, gaming um, convention uh, where, you know, there's a lot of fighting games that go on. And so uh, that could be cool. Uh, maybe we'll get something at E3. Don't know yet. Uh, I have a lot of different theories and ideas, and I would love to know what your theories and ideas are. Personally... 
I think it's great again, but um, leave your comments below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that is. And until then, guys, I'm Crazy Samurai 71, and I will see you guys then. Goodbye, guys.